In this video, I want to show you how easy it is to utilize Melodyne when you're comping vocals, in particular when you're using Audio Random Access. In this example, like in Studio One by Presonus. So I've got two vocal takes here. And what I'd like to do is combine the best of each one. The first thing is I'm going to separate them out. I'll just make some splits right there. I'll splice it right there and right there. Next, I'll select a region and choose simply edit with Melodyne. And because of Audio Random Access technology, it doesn't need to be transferred. The audio is immediately recognized. And there we have this top passage right here is now right there. And we'll do the same for the second take. This time I'll use my keyboard command, command M that I have, and there we go. So there's the top one and there's the second take. All right, now what I'd like to do is I'm gonna split these up. Again, I'm gonna grab my, my split tool and let me free myself from the grid here. I'm gonna split this one there and here. And I'll do the same for the bottom one. I wanna take the best of these six parts and, and comp them into one take that I'm looking for. All right, now let's say I don't need this one. Let's get rid of this one and this one right here, great. Now what I wanna show you is exactly this. There are two modes when working with Audio Random Access technology. You've got track mode here, which I have selected, and clip mode. And to explain them both, it's really pretty easy. Oh, let me delete this one up here above that one as well, because that's the one I'm going to be replacing. All right. So it's really simple. With track mode, when I have an area selected that it has Melodyne applied to it, you'll see here's this region here, and here it is here. And this track here is here. It allows me to see all the Melodyne editing that I can do with whatever tracks I have in a linear fashion like this, all right? So it shows me all the audio in the track, track mode. But if I switch to clip mode, okay? We can select a file and go to clip mode, like right here. It's giving me the clip, this region right here is highlighted in white but it also shows me what's beyond that if I was to stretch those bounds. So let me come to the edge of that clip and watch as I move it. Now I'm revealing the rest of the audio transfer. Now, why is this important? Well, if you have audio that's overlapping, you could really fine tune it and make better adjustments. So for example, between this one here, if I was to cho choose clip mode, it shows me the entire region the highlighted white area is this one here and what's beyond it, which then goes into the region that's following. So clip mode allows you to see everything in that clip, while track mode allows you to see all the audio that is in that track, like so. These two white regions represent this one and this one. And switching down to here, we've got this one. Now let's put this together. Let's play this audio. Mad, mad love. It's as easy as that. Now we can continue to tweak. I'll draw some fades in here, and right there like that. Bring this in. Just really sweeten it up a little bit. Mad, mad love. And if I wanted to do some fine tuning, let's zoom in a little bit more here. Here we go on this area right here. If I wanted to, now pay attention that I can't grab the borders here in Melodyne. It's controlled by the DAW. As I grab the DAW, I can balance between how much of this clip is heard and how much of this clip is now being heard. See what I mean? I can bring it right into balance like this. Try to avoid some weird artifacts. Mad love. So it's a lot smoother. So I'm really fine tuning this. Again, I'm taking two vocal tracks and I'm comping them together in this example. I just wanna quickly and easily show you how you can use Melodyne to fine tune the edits and the audio between those clips so you can maximize your work effort and get exactly what it is you're looking for. Mad, mad love. Just like that. So we've got the two modes, you've got clip mode, which allows you to see the clip and what's extended beyond that isn't going to be played, but can be if I stretch it out like this. And you've got track mode, 
which allows you to see the audio that's available to be heard in that one track. Like that, there's track mode on that track, track mode on this track, clip mode on this track, and clip mode on this track. All right. And of course, the best way is to always dive right in and get started for yourself and have fun. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.